Good morning, friends. My name's Ted, and it's great to join you for morning prayer here at Holy Trinity Anglican Church in Brisbane's Fortitude Valley. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us, so before we do anything else, let's pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence as revealed in your word, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. If you haven't done today's readings yet, now is an excellent time to do so. Go on, take all the time you need. We'll be here when you get back. Our verse for today comes from our second lesson, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 13. In offering this service, you prove to these people that you glorify God by actually doing what your acknowledgement of the good news of the Messiah requires. Namely, sharing generously with them and with everyone. Let's pray. Almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your own image and yet more wonderfully restored us in your Son, Jesus Christ, grant that as he came to share our human nature so we may be partakers in his divine glory, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Do you ever think about your own funeral when it gets to the bit where people start giving eulogies? What might they say about you? Some of the most memorable and moving services I've been to have been at the funerals of men and women who have died with nothing. The state paid for a basic coffin and a few minutes at the crematorium chapel. But the tears at those funerals were more honest and beautiful than anywhere else. This isn't to say I'm an advocate of monastic ascetism. Yes, today we do remember Antony of Padua, a follower of St. Francis of Assisi, the poverty preacher's par excellence. But sometimes we need a bit of a push to remind us of the way of our master. Because theology matters. What we believe is related to how we act. And we can discover what we believe by looking at how we act. It's that old definition of free will. We have the freedom to do what we want to do the most, and we'll only ever pick that option. So when they speak at our funeral, what will they say? What about our actions tells people what we actually believe? Think about the richest people in the world. What might their personal theology be? What about the most generous people in the world? What do they believe? And ourselves, only God knows our hearts. But judging by outward appearances, will others give glory to God based on our actions? Let's pray. Jesus, you talk the talk and you show me how to walk the walk. Grant me your generous wisdom so that people will glorify your name because of my actions. Amen. Thanks for joining me today, friends. We'll see you again tomorrow. And in the meantime, may the God of peace equip us with everything good so that we may do his will. And may he work in us that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever. Amen.